From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Wednesday, July 23rd, 2014. In the news, a Fairbanks man has been charged after Alaska state troopers say he trespassed into a North Pole residence and took custody of a three-year-old child. A release says 27-year-old Juan Victor Salgado Figueroa damaged the property at the residence before taking the child, who belonged to his alleged female accomplice, and then led authorities on a manhunt with both troopers and Fairbanks police. Both Figueroa and the female turned themselves in at the office of a local attorney. The child was turned over to the Office of Children's Services. As part of a plea deal, the Fairbanks teen accused of providing a getaway car in an armed robbery has pleaded guilty to lesser charges. 19-year-old Tanisha Emery will serve no jail time. However, she will serve three years probation. She was part of an incident last March in which three men allegedly robbed the sourdough gas station on Farmers Loop Road, holding the attendant at gunpoint. The state called the deal a strategic decision, further noting Emery would be testifying against her three co-defendants. And Alaska has set a record for the number of tourists visiting the nation's northernmost state. A state release said Alaska had 1.6 million, that's 1.96 million visitors between May 1st and April 30th. That beats the previous mark by 5,000 visitors set in 2007-2008. Commerce Commissioner Susan Bell attributes the increase to more cruise ship calls in Alaska, new national and international air service routes, and an advertising campaign aimed at winter travelers. A quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today, cloudy with scattered showers, highs in the mid to upper 60s. Tonight, numerous showers in the evening, rain likely after midnight with areas of fog and lows in the lower 50s. Tomorrow, periods of rain, areas of fog, highs in the lower 60s. Extended forecast about the same for Friday, sunny on Saturday, then variable clouds after that. Highs low to mid-60s for most of the period, maybe low 70s on Tuesday. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. On behalf of your entire News Center 11 team, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching. Don't forget about CPR and enjoy your day.